Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Welcome to the program. We've seen a lot of literature lately describing changes in the gut microbiome that are brought on by consuming artificial sweeteners. You know, I think the word is out that uh, drinking sugar sweetened beverages is probably not a good thing, and that's true. You know, using sugar as well isn't a good thing. So there's been a push to get people to somehow think that artificially sweetened beverages, for example, soda, uh, may well be a better choice. Well, in reality, uh, that's not the truth. That's not what science is demonstrating. Uh, I've talked before about the studies demonstrating significant increased risk for obesity and even type 2 diabetes in individuals who consume diet beverages. And, you know, when you recognize that getting, a, getting type 2 diabetes quadruples a person's risk for dementia, you may think then that there could be a relationship between drinking artificially sweetened beverages and risk for dementia and even Alzheimer's disease, and you would be right. So let's take a look at a recent study. This is a very interesting study, and it's entitled Sugar and Artificially Sweetened Beverages and the Risk for Stroke and Dementia. And this is a study uh, that is actually just published in the journal Stroke back in April of 2017. And what these researchers did was they looked at two populations, the first close to 3,000 individuals age 45 years or older, and they were studied for risk of stroke. About 1,500 people aged 60 years or older were studied for their risk of developing dementia during a 10-year period of time from 1991 to uh, 2001. And they basically wanted to plot, for example, the risk for developing dementia versus how many artificially sweetened soft drinks uh, a person consumed in a day. And the study shows that in terms of consuming one or more uh, soft drinks, artificially sweetened soft drinks per day, the risk of dementia was increased dramatically by about 2.5 fold. In looking at Alzheimer's, almost a three fold increase in the risk of uh, developing Alzheimer's by just uh, in association with consuming one or more diet drinks a day, and even the risk of ischemic stroke, which is blockage of a blood vessel as opposed to a bleed into the brain, dramatically increased risk. Now, the authors concluded that artificial sweeteners uh, in laboratory animals, and I would also indicate in humans, uh, have been shown to cause dramatic changes in the gut bacteria. That's what that term dysbiosis means, as well as glucose intolerance, uh, also noted in humans. We know that, as this meme from our website has shown us, that there's a powerful link uh, to diabetes uh, uh, developing diabetes in people who consume sugar-free, no-calorie uh, beverages. It doesn't seem to make sense, but it's brought on by the changes that happen in the gut bacteria. Uh, we can change this meme now based upon this peer-reviewed study appearing in the journal Stroke to read uh, artificial sweeteners, powerful link to Alzheimer's disease as well. So I think this is really very, very important information. So this is very compelling evidence, isn't it, that uh, drinking uh, artificially sweetened beverages, by virtue of the fact that they will change the array of bacteria and the diversity of bacteria in the gut, lead to metabolic changes that probably increase inflammation, and that opens the door for dementia in general, and significantly increases the risk for uh, developing Alzheimer's disease and even stroke, as the study showed. So again, uh, there's no free ride as it relates to drinking sugarless or sugar, uh, unsweetened beverages uh, that use artificial sweeteners. We've got to be very vigilant about that despite what media may want us to think is the right thing to do as we endeavor to stop consuming sugar. So an interesting uh, study that again, again dovetails with so many that we've seen as of late relating uh, to the changes in the human gut microbiome uh, as a consequence of artificially sweetened beverages and artificial sweeteners in general. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.